Hi everybody, uh, just a quick update on the Katari 132 scale Spitfire. Uh, at the end of the last episode, part 4a, I'd managed to do the undersurface black and white scheme and had intended to move on uh, to do the upper surface camouflage, the green and brown, uh, for part 4b today. Uh, but I hit a problem when I was doing that work and I've had to strip the model down and start again. I'll tell you why in a moment, but you can see here that I've gone back and I'm just part way through uh, repainting the undersurfaces. I've done the starboard white. I'm going to do the black later on. Uh, the problem was that I'd decided to do some chipping effects on the wing roots and around the uh, gum bays and things like that. And for that I'd used some Tamiya lacquer gloss aluminium. I'd got it to a really shiny slick finish. But uh, what was happening was that I'd applied the brown uh, camouflage pattern and I'd come to mask off for the green but what I found was that the masking tape I lifted it in one or two places and it was just pulling away the uh, Tamiya acrylic brown that I was using. Uh, I tried to repair it once or twice and patch it up which I managed to do but uh, a bit further on on the tape run it was coming off again so uh, there comes a point where you've got to decide what to do. I could have persevered with the patching. But what I find happens in that case is that you start to uh, rub the model down. You get uneven uh, primer thickness. Uh, and it's just a long cycle of messing about. So I took the decision to strip the model down and start again. So I used some isopropyl alcohol to do that. It took a good couple of hours to uh, do it. And of course what you've got to be careful of is not to get any damage into the cockpit area. You know that I've uh, spent a lot of time doing that in parts two and three so I didn't want to do any damage to that. So a lot of the time especially working around the cockpit I've been using cotton buds with the alcohol to remove the paint. So it came down right the way through the primer back to bare plastic and I've started again yesterday. So because of that it set me back at least a whole week probably eight or nine days actually. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to do anything for the premiere this week. So rather than video editing anything, I'll spend the time catching back up uh, and getting to the point where I've got the top surface done. So that's something that I've never had happen before, uh, particularly with the same paint manufacturers. Sometimes you get a bit of a reaction if you use different manufacturers paints, but these were all Tamiya. Admittedly, one was a lacquer, one was an acrylic, so I don't know whether there's something in that. But it uh, doesn't matter how long you've been at this hobby, there's always something to learn, there's always mistakes to be made. Uh, and this was one of them. So that's a lesson learned not to use uh, standard acrylics over a lacquer metallic. I won't do that again. But there's no damage done to the model and uh, it's just a case of getting the time to get back to where we were at the end of the last episode. So I'd better get cracking and get this Spitfire back on the road again. But if you're subscribed and you've got your notifications switched on, uh, you'll get to know when that next episode's available. So uh, I'm sorry about the delay, everybody, in the build, but it's one of those things, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.